Merry Christmas! The BBC's gift to you is bringing back the greatest ever quiz. And if you thought the walk-offs were tough before, just think what it'd be like when they're in fancy dress. Welcome to The Weakest Link. They're behind me. Yes, I'm joined by eight celebrities, each trying to give the gift of up to £50,000 to charity. If they want the money, they'll have to work together as a team. But seven will leave without so much as a mince pie, as round by round we lose the player voted the weakest link. Let's meet the team. I'm Kim, and I'm an actress and presenter from Cheshire. I'm Hugh, and I'm a cook and sprout lover from Devon. I'm Kate, I'm a priest and presenter from Retford. Biggins, Dame Extraordinaire, London. I'm the GC from Essex. I'm Ollie, I'm a wine expert from Sussex. I'm Bonnie, I'm an actress from Fairyland. Danny, entertainer from Labrick Grove. Well, you all look amazing. <laughs> Absolutely amazing. I'm, I'm blown away. You look incredible. <laughs> now for the rules. In each round, the aim is to answer enough questions correctly to reach your target within the time limit. The target for round one is £2,500. The fastest way to get there is to work together to create a chain of eight correct answers. Get your question wrong, you break the chain and you lose all the money in that chain. But if you press your button and say bank before the question is asked, the money is safe and you begin a new chain from scratch. You've got two and a half minutes for this round. We'll start with the person who's most likely to leave their decorations up until mid-February. <laughs> That's you, Kim Marsh. <laughs> Let's play The Weakest Link. Start the clock. Kim, in festive cuisine, small sausages wrapped in bacon are commonly referred to as pigs in what fabric coverings? Blankets. Correct. Q. In spelling, the words knuckle and knowledge both begin with what silent letter? K. Correct. Kate. In UK landmarks, a sculpture by Anthony Gormley that is located by the A1 road at Gateshead is called the Angel of the What? The North. Correct. Begins. In social media, which American-born singer and actor has a Twitter handle at JLo? Jennifer Lopez. Correct. Gemma, look at your screen. Which species of garden bird is this? Robin. Correct. <laughs> Ollie. The 1950 book by C.S. Lewis about four siblings who visit a fictional land called Narnia is titled The Lion, the Witch and the What? The Wardrobe. Correct. Bonnie, in pop music, the Mariah Carey single that became a UK number one hit 26 years after it first charted is titled All I Want for Christmas is What? You. Correct. Danny, in language, which day of the week is referred to informally as Hump Day? Sunday. Incorrect, it's Wednesday. Kim, in TV, the actors Matthew Horne and Joanna Page play the title characters in which 2007 sitcom set in Essex and Wales? Oh. Oh, no, I can't remember. I can't remember, sorry. Pass. Gavin and Stacey. That's it. Hugh, <laughs> in Retro Toys, the multicoloured puzzle created in 1974 by a Hungarian professor as a teaching aide is called the Rubik's What? Cube. Correct. Kate. In animated films, the songs Let It Go and Do You Want to Build a Snowman are from which 2013 Disney feature? Frozen. Correct. Biggins. In maths, what is five multiplied by five? 25. Correct. Gemma. In theatre, what P is a festive show often based on a fairy tale that usually includes the roles of principal boy and dame? Don't know. Pantomime. Ollie. In Landmarks, the 30-metre statue, completed in 1931, that overlooks Rio de Janeiro, is known in English as Christ the what? Saviour. Incorrect Redeemer. Bonnie. In the Highway Code, the two cars on the no overtaking sign are black and which primary colour? Red. Correct. Danny. In the UK Parliament, the abbreviation PMQ stands for Prime Minister's what? Question time. I'll accept that. It was questions. Kim, in baking, which flaky pastry product eaten at breakfast has a name that is French for crescent? Croissant. Correct. Hugh, in royal weddings, Prince William and Kate Middleton. Time's up. You banked... nothing. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. You answered a lot of questions. You got a lot of correct answers, but unfortunately it was all a massive waste of all of our times because you didn't bank any money. <laughs> 
So, <laughs> simple as that. You know, the question is, do they know it's Christmas time at all? Please, could you step your game up? Yeah. Right. OK? Yeah, right. Yeah. Yes. Otherwise, this is going to be the darkest Christmas of all <laughs> <Yes>. time. <laughs> so, who thinks Deck the Halls is Aunt McPartland's mate? <laughs> <laughs> who tried to return the ghost of Christmas present? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. Ooh. It's time to vote off the weakest link. With no money banked, that was an awful round. Danny broke the longest chain of answers and is the weakest link, so let's see if he survives the vote. Voting's over. It's now time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Danny. Kate. Danny. Sorry, Gemma. Biggins. <laughs> Gemma. Danny. Biggins. Well, I'm going to tell you now, incredible first round for two reasons. Reason number one, if Danny had got his question right there, that would have been the full run, you've got the full amount of money straight away in your first run of questions, which would have been incredible. But Danny got the question wrong and you ended up banking absolutely nothing. I, mean, I don't want to go on about it, but it, it was nothing out of a possible £2,500. <laughs> Kim, Gavin and Stacey, not come across your radar? Yeah, I, I just completely went blank. I just... I knew it, but I yeah. couldn't remember what it was called. Did you have either of the names? No, I didn't actually know. Mm. I, I, but I knew, I knew it, I just couldn't think of the name at the time. Why did you vote for Danny? Because I was getting really excited and ready to shout bank, because if Danny had got his question right... So you knew the significance of the moment? I, I did. Great. So, sorry, Danny. Gemma, a couple of questions for you. First of all, pantomime. Yes. Evaded you. Yes. I mean, I don't know how many more visual cues you need, really. You've got... sit next to Biggins. <laughs> yes. You've got Bonnie there, you've got Ollie there all dressed up. What happened? As she was talking, it all got too much and I just zoned out. OK. Well, I'm Sorry, going to be honest man. with you, Gemma. If you didn't like being asked the question, it is going to come up again. Just <laughs> no, a little... I get that. I yeah. fully understand sure, that. Sure, it's sure, just... sure. I'm not sure if you know I am, hum, but I don't play games. No. Don't take <laughs> it personally, No, I'm hun. not taking it personally, Please no. don't take it personally. No, I don't. I will try not to zone out for the rest of the show. Well, if you can, I think we'd all we'd all love that, wouldn't we? But but but, but don't feel any pressure at all. Oh, I won't, honey. No, Thank you. No. Why did you vote Biggins? To be honest, I couldn't decide, so I just went for the person closest yeah. to me. Possibly it was a second zone out. Probably, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. It happens. It happens. It could happen once or twice. Danny. What? <laughs> 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 Daddy, hump day. My day Sunday. Your hump day Sunday. My hump day Sunday. I can only go with what I know. You know what hump is? It's sort of... what's, what's the relevance so, between so, so, Wednesday and a hump? Well, Wednesday's in the middle of the week. Right. So you're building up to the hump of the Wednesday, and then once you get past the Wednesday, which is the hump, you're heading down to the end of the week. I'm a double camel hump man myself. <laughs> oh, I see. No, fair <laughs> enough. I forgot there's two. Do you know what? Actually, we should have specified in the question what exactly, type of camel we were talking about. I'm not going to no, go there. Right. Well, look, Danny, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I was the weakest in that round, and it's imperative, the first round, because when I got it wrong, we were at the height of our banking balance. I deserve to go. Round two. And I've got fantastic news. It can't go worse than the previous round. <laughs> You've won nothing so far out of a possible £2,500. Seven players are left, and we are taking ten seconds off the clock. Ooh. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Bonnie. Oh, gosh. OK. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Bonnie, in wildlife, what pea is a flightless seabird native to the southern hemisphere that has species called emperor, king and royal? Penguin. Correct. Kim, in the story A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens, the character who says, God bless us, everyone, is known as Tiny Who? Tim. Correct. Hugh, in TV soaps, which fictional pub has been run by characters called Angie Watts, Peggy Mitchell and Cat Moon? The Queen Vic. Correct. Kate, 
Look at your screen. What is the common name of this plant? Mistletoe. Correct. Biggins, in winter beverages, what word that can mean to have thought something over at length precedes wine in the name of a warm spice drink? Mulled. Correct. Gemma. Bank. In Scottish geography, the river that rises in the southern uplands and flows through Glasgow has what name? Bonnie or Clyde? Can you repeat the question, please? In Scottish geography, the river that rises in the southern uplands and flows through Glasgow has what name? Bonnie or Clyde? Clyde. Correct. Ollie, in tennis in 2021, the British player Emma Raducanu won which Grand Slam tournament? The US Open. Correct. Bonnie, in cinema, which fictional archaeologist did the actor Harrison Ford first play in the 1981 film Raiders of the Lost Ark? I don't know. Indiana Jones. No. Oh. Kim, in pop music, the novelty single by Lad Baby that was the UK Christmas number one in 2019 is titled I Love Sausage What? Party. <laughs> Incorrect, it's rolled. <laughs> <laughs> you. In fashion, which British-born journalist became editor-in-chief of the American Vogue magazine in 1988? Anna Winter. Correct. Kate. In tourist attractions, Shirley Anfield, Shirley Bassey and Shirley Ballas have all switched on the illuminations at which seaside resort in the north of England? Blackpool. Correct. Bang. Biggins. In astronomy, what J is the largest planet in our solar system? Jupiter. Correct. Gemma. In hotel accommodation, a twin room has how many beds? One. Incorrect, it's two. Ollie. The human skeleton that was discovered in Somerset in 1903 and is thought to be around 10,000 years old is known as what? Wensleydale woman or Cheddar man? Cheddar man. Correct. Bank. Ollie. In cocktails, a snowball typically consists of advocat and which carbonated drink? Uh, so Time's up. It was lemonade. Out of a possible £2,500, you've put in the bank £900. Yes! yes. Which yes. sounds good well because of done. how much you've lowered expectations. <laughs> so, well done. Oh, no, that was awful. <laughs> <laughs> so, who thinks a stocking filler is their leg? <laughs> who thinks Rudolph is a drag queen? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. They bank some money. It's a Christmas miracle. Biggins is the strongest link. Gemma, Kim and Bonnie all got one wrong, but who will they vote for? Voting's over. It's time now to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Gemma. 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 Kim. Ollie. Bonnie. Hugh. Well, an interesting uh, set of votes. Kim, it's Christmas and I don't want to go into it too much, but it was... Uh... <laughs> 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 it was an interesting guess from you. Just, yeah. just, let's just say bakery seem to be more interesting around your way. <laughs> Uh, why did you vote for Gemma? I, I, do you know what? Somebody, somebody has to go, and I thought it was either going to be me or Gemma, and I couldn't vote for myself, just simply because we both got quite a simple question wrong. Okay. But you look fabulous. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Hugh, you were able to tell me the editor of Vogue magazine... Yes. yes. ..while wearing what you're wearing. <laughs> <laughs> it was... I, I think you can see this really should be on the cover of Vogue magazine, yes. obviously. <laughs> it was genuinely impressive. Now, you've sort of done a... You've done a vote for Gemma, but you've also kind of tried to give us some positive encouragement as well, haven't you? Can you talk us well, through Well, she's this? the best banker we have, so it wasn't easy to vote her off. She did a great bank. But she also got another question wrong, so mm. it was a dilemma. Gemma? I only stay in suites or penthouses, so when I got <laughs> asked that question, <laughs> twin beds double, I really didn't know the answer. Mm. Was there any part of you that thought maybe twin has something to do with this? No. No, no, I get it. If anything, the question was too cheap for you, wasn't it? Basically, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Why did you vote for Ollie? Again, I didn't give it any thought. Sure. I just looked to my left, he was the first person there. <laughs> yeah. And I thought, oh, all right, Ollie, that was yeah. it. And do you know what? You would be the perfect contestant if this game 
was voting for people that happened to be next to you at the time <laughs> yes, of the vote. Yes, yes. That would be excellent, actually. Yes, you'd be, you'd thank be brilliant. you. You're consistent. You went for Biggins, and then you went, we've already done him. Let's look over this way. Oh, there's Ollie. Let's do him. Gemma, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Enjoy the sweet. Thanks, honey. I will. It was such a relief I wasn't voted off first because I really thought I was going to be. When you're up on the podium, guys, all of you watching at home, it is pressurising. You do not understand until you're there under those beaming lights. It's petrifying. Round three. You've got £900 out of a possible £5,000 so far. In this round, we are upping the stakes. Not only are you down to six players with another 10 seconds off the clock, but the target is now £5,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Biggins. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Biggins, in honours, in 2021, the Manchester City and England footballer who was awarded an MBE for his services to racial equality in sport is Raheem who? Oh, I'm sorry, I have no idea. Sterling. Ollie. Look at your screen. This ice skating rink is in which city? New York. Correct. Bonnie, in language, what C is a piece of data stored on a computer and goes before monster in the name of a Sesame Street character? Cookie. Correct. Bank. Kim, in festive music, the opening line to a popular Christmas carol is deck the halls with boughs of what? Holly. Correct. Hugh, in fashion, which hairstyle that shares its name with a type of fish is cut short at the front and sides but left long at the back? Mullet. Correct. Kate, in US geography, what word goes before Barbara, Clara and Monica to form the names of three different cities in California? Santa. Correct. Bank. Biggins, in nautical terms, when facing the front on board a sailing vessel, the left side is known as what? Port or sherry? Port. Correct. Ollie, in TV, the song I'll Be There For You by the Rembrandts was written for which US sitcom? Friends. Correct. Bonnie. In Western astrology, a person born on the 25th of December has what star sign? Capricorn. Correct. Bank. Kim, in films, which 2003 comedy stars Will Ferrell as a character named Buddy who travels from the North Pole to New York City? Elf. Correct. Hugh, in biology, hemoglobin is an oxygen transporting protein in the red cells of which bodily fluid? Blood. Correct. Kate, look at your screen. What is the stage name of this drag performer? Conchita Verst. Correct. Biggins. In the animal kingdom, polar bears are found in the wild in what region? Arctic or Antarctic? Arctic. Correct. Bank. Ollie. The adage that appears in a Robert Heinlein book and means it's impossible to get something for nothing is there ain't no such thing as a free what? Lunch. Correct. Bonnie. Bank. In winter sports, what B is an event that combines cross-country skiing with rifle target shooting? I don't know. Biathlon. Kim, in broadcasting in 2021, the comedian who became the new permanent presenter of the Radio 4 show Just a Minute is Sue Who. Time's up. It was Sue Perkins. Out of a possible £5,000, you put in the bank £2,100. That's more like it. Better That's round. Yeah. Yeah. That's That's Finally, up. the Christmas That's team have turned up. up. Yes. So, who thinks the Christmas spirit is what they start drinking at breakfast time? <laughs> Who thinks Elf is their physical condition? <laughs> One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Ollie had a cracking round with the most correct answers, and so he's the strongest link. But who will the team decide is the weakest? Voting's over. It's time now to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Bonnie. 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 Hugh. Biggins. Ollie. I've got to be honest with you guys, there's a real contrast with the jolliness of your costumes and the looks on your face. <laughs> <laughs> so it's really... It just sort of makes it look really sad and tragic. <laughs> Biggins, we know you're a legend. You are one of these people who always looks completely unflappable, comfortable in his own skin. I don't think I've ever seen you panicked until 
you heard the beginning of a football question. And then, <laughs> honestly, your face was... Let me tell you something. I yeah. think this boy is brilliant. Right. And what he's done, it's just I had absolutely no idea. He's, I, to me, he's a fabulous footballer and deserve every award he could get. Except for the Biggins Knows Your Name Award. Exactly. Yeah, I'm so sure. sorry. Uh, why did you vote for Hugh? I hate Sprouts. <laughs> <laughs> That makes sense? I mean, yeah, that absolutely does. makes sense. And green. Yeah. And yeah. green. <laughs> uh, Kate, the confidence with which you said Conchita first. <laughs> yeah. How did you have yes. that straight away? Massive Eurovision fan. Huge. Really? And Conchita won with Rise Like a Phoenix. Mm -hmm. If you were to pick a, a favourite Eurovision act over the years that you've watched it, what would it be? Oh, that's a Verka with Lasha Tumbai. Oh, loved it, loved it. Abso second. That's a banger. <laughs> it's an absolute oh, banger. It's great. So good, I'm having it at my funeral. Are you? Yeah. Okay, well, sort, of... <laughs> <laughs> sort of said, are you, with a smile on my face. <laughs> yeah. I, sort of did, I, didn't, I, I didn't quite register you saying funeral. Well, when you do what I do for a living, you think about these things, sure. right? I want to have all the, you know, T's crossed and the I's dotted, so might as well plan in advance. <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> uh, why did you vote for Bonnie? Because I'm a terrible, terrible human, Ramesh. Mm. That's why I voted for Bonnie. Well, we knew that before you came into the show. Grateful <laughs> human. I think Bonnie's just starting to run out of a little bit of steam Ooh. in her answering of her questions. Mm. And I had to vote for somebody. And I also think she looks like a compassionate and forgiving person. Yes. So that's why I went for Bonnie. <laughs> of okay. course. Well, those are interesting reasons. Uh, Bonnie. <laughs> yes. I'm going to be honest with you. Yeah. The question you got wrong in this round was actually quite a tough one, I thought, mm. the biathlon question. Thank you. Yes. I think you might be suffering from a little bit of Indiana Jones hangover. I think so. I think you're being punished for your sins from the previous round. That's what, that's <laughs> I, what I genuinely think believe. I think you're quite right there, Romy. Yeah. <laughs> well, Bonnie, with three votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Thank you. Oh, come on! <laughs> look at, look at her. Come look at her. on! I quite enjoyed doing the walk of shame because I got to be nearer to Ramesh. Round four. So far, you've banked £3,000 out of a potential prize money of £10,000. There are just five of you left, and we are taking another 10 seconds off the clock. So you only have two minutes to bank a possible £5,000. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Ollie. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Ollie, in celebrations, what H is the name for the major festivities held in Scotland on New Year's Eve? Hogmanay. Correct. Kim, in cinema, which actor plays the police officer John McClane in the 1998 action film Die Hard? Bruce Willis. Correct. Hugh, in classical music, the 1877 Tchaikovsky Ballet, about a character who has been transformed into a bird, is known in English as Swan what? Lake. Correct. Kate, in European geography, the village of Klosters is a luxury ski resort in which Alpine country? Switzerland. Correct. Biggins, in politics, the person who became Vice President of the US in January 2021 is Kamala who? I have no idea. Harris. Ollie. In ten-pin bowling, the name of what bird is used as a term for scoring three strikes in a row? Duck. Incorrect, it's turkey. Kim. In pop music, which Irish band had UK top 40 hits in the 90s with the songs Linger and Zombie? Oh, um, oh, uh, Cranberries. Correct. Hugh. In TV, the newsreader known for wearing colourful ties who first presented Channel 4 News in 1989 is John Who? Snow. Correct. Kate. The national flag of Canada features the leaf of which tree? Maple. Correct. Biggins. In technology, when referring to screens on devices such as TVs and laptops, the abbreviation LCD stands for liquid crystal what? I have no idea. Display. Ollie. In drinks, the small amount of whiskey lost in the cask by evaporation is commonly called the what? Angel's share or devil's due? It's the angel's share. Correct. Kim. In maths, what is four multiplied by eight? Oh, I hate doing times tables. I can't do it. Um, uh, oh, no. God, this is terrible. 4, 8, says, uh, 4, 8, 16 to 32. Correct. <laughs> Thank you. In 1980s music, the song Express Yourself and Like a Virgin were UK top ten singles. Time's up. <laughs> well done. Well done. Out of a possible £5,000, you banked <laughs> 250 Oh, no. God. So... Who thinks mistletoe is like athlete's foot? <laughs> Who thinks the wise men gave Jesus Frankenstein? One of you is about to leave with nothing. 
It's time to vote off the weakest link. Well, with no correct answers, Biggins is the weakest link, boys and girls. But let's see who they vote for. Voting's over. It's time now to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Dame Biggins. 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 B Ollie. Biggins. <laughs> we love you, Biggins. <laughs> Interesting set of votes. Uh, Ollie. Yes. I hope you don't mind me saying, you look adorable. Oh. Uh, you really, oh. really genuinely look like you do wine expert stuff when you're not being an elf. <laughs> I'll take that any day of the week. I Lovely. mean, th these are my regular clothes, to be yeah. honest. Why did you vote for Biggins? Because uh, a couple of, well, questions wrong and, and not remembering the answer. I do love Biggins, solid gold national treasure, but mm. ultimately, you know. <laughs> Kim. Don't ask me what times tables are ever again. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, first of all, I thought you were very excited about getting Bruce Willis, right? I was super excited. Yeah, because as we all know, Die Hard is a Christmas film. We all yeah. know that, don't it, we, guys? Yeah. The answer to your maths question was 32, which <laughs> co actually, by coincidence, is how many seconds it took you to, to have a go at an answer. <laughs> Do you know what? Maths has always been my worst. If, if my daughter gets any maths homework, I just pass her very quickly over to someone else, cos well, it's rubbish. What I would say to that is, it's just like, if you have it in your head that maths isn't your thing, as soon as you start hearing numbers, you freak out. I know. You know? I, mean, I used to be a maths teacher. I, I, at parents' evenings, I'd enjoy how panicked <laughs> the parents looked when they sat down. So, why did you vote for Biggins? I kind of feel like, well, every time we kind of bumped the money up, then Biggins didn't know the question. And, and that's, you know, that's not anyone's fault. It's just the way it is. It's no one's fault, but it is Biggins' fault. <laughs> <laughs> Biggins, how do you feel your journey through the show went? Absolutely fantastic. Right. I've had a great time. Mm. I feel very Christmassy. I'm next to God. <laughs> Everything is good. It's really sweet and makes the thing I'm about to say to you next <laughs> feel even more horrible. <laughs> Biggins, with four votes, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. I wasn't upset at all about being voted off because I was terrible. I, I got two questions wrong, and so I deserved. If I could have voted for myself, I would have put Biggins. What goes through your mind when the tension is happening and the lights go down? Well, I tell you what happens. You wish you were home, watching the television, watching your LSD. <laughs> all right, <laughs> LCD. <laughs> Round five. Now we've had a lot of fun, haven't we? We have. Yeah. But it is starting to get serious now. Yeah. So far, you've banked a total of £3,250 out of a possible 15000 There are only four people remaining, and another 10 seconds are coming off the clock. But the target is going to increase again to £7,500. Let's start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Kim. Oh. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. Kim, look at your screen. This picture is from the cover of which 1963 children's book? The Gruffalo. Incorrect, it's where the wild things are. Oh. Hugh, in Asia, what H is a system of mountains that includes the highest peak in the world and has a name derived from Sanskrit that means the home Himalayas. of snow? Correct. Kate, in hobbies, the fancy role-playing game, often referred to as D&D, &D, is called what and dragons? Dungeons. Correct. Ollie, in film, which 2006 rom-com do characters played by Kate Winslet and Cameron Diaz swap homes for Christmas? Pass. It's the holiday. Kim, in international vehicle registration codes, the letters JA represent which Caribbean country? Jamaica. Correct. Q, in broadcasting in 2021, the Radio 1 presenter who moved from the live lounge show to the future sound slot is Clara Who? Holmes. Incorrect is Ampho. Kate, in geometry, what O is the word for a polygon with eight sides? Octagon. Correct. Bank. Ollie. In music, in 2019, which London-born rapper had his first solo UK number one single with the track Vossibop? Pass. Stormzy. Kim, 
In UK politics in 2021, which MP resigned as health secretary after being caught on camera breaking social distancing guidance? Oh, my goodness, what's his name? Uh... <laughs> God, I can't think of his name! Oh, pass, sorry, pass. Matt Hancock. That's it. Q. <laughs> the TV drama series created by Russell T Davis that stars Ollie Alexander and was named after a Pet Shop Boys hit is titled It's a What? Sin. Correct. Bank. Kate. In the poem, The Night Before Christmas, attributed to Clement Clark Moore, which items of clothing were hung by the chimney with care? The stockings. Correct. Ollie. In medicine... Time's up. <laughs> Out of a possible £7,500, you put in the bank £500. <sighs> so it's a real roller coaster. <laughs> I mean, if this was Monopoly, I would have flipped the board and stormed out by now. Uh, so, who thinks pulling a cracker is a sports injury? Who thinks Christmas Eve is Christmas Adam's girlfriend? One of you is going to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. Kate's now the strongest link, but Ollie had a nightmare before Christmas and got everything wrong. Does that mean he'll be voted off? Let's find out. Voting's over. It's time now to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Q. Kim. Ollie. Kim. Very, very tense now. This is the real deal, isn't it? Um, Ollie, the Stormzy question. I know. As soon as I sort of started to say the words Vossy Bop, you went for pass straight away, which I get, because you thought, I don't know this. I don't know. But it felt like not only did you not know the answer, you wanted nothing to do with the question. <laughs> no. It was just, I, like, I don't know, no, no, Vossy Bop. Consider me out. Yeah. Why did you vote for Kim? Um, I think there were a couple of questions wrong that led to quite a, a big dip in the money. Fine. I think. I'm sorry, Kim. Kate. Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah. You? Octagon. No hesitation. Yeah. I mean, you've got quite the breadth of knowledge. I mean, that sounds almost patronising. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, I watch a lot of telly. Yeah. So, you know, you pick this stuff up along the way, right? Uh, of course, yeah. Uh, why did you vote for Ollie? Because of his allergy to the Vossi Bop? Uh, the Stormzy question was... Bored. I mean, I'm in the business of forgiveness, but that was bordering on unforgivable, right? <laughs> I beg forgiveness. <laughs> also, he looks like he needs to get back to the North Pole and finish some toys off. I hope nobody's asked for Stormzy albums. <laughs> um, Kim. Yeah. Now, listen, I'm going to be honest with you. Matt Hancock. Yeah. We all tried to forget. You know, we, we, <laughs> we, we, we saw the images and I wanted it burned from my memory as well. So I, I, I've got some sympathy with you. I knew exactly who it was, but again, my mind played a blank. Well, Kim, with two votes, I'm afraid you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Bye. Bye-bye, Kim. Bye, Kim. Kim. Oh, happy Christmas. Happy Christmas, Christmas. darling. To hear the news that Ollie is, in fact, the weakest link during that round has elated me. He said that the reason that he voted me out was because I'd got a couple of questions wrong and was the reason that the money had gone down. So all I've got to say is, in your face, Ollie. Round six. So far, you've banked £3,750 out of a possible £22,500. Only three of you left. Another ten seconds are coming off the clock. We'll start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Kate. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. In medicine, what P is the common name of the antibiotic that was discovered by Alexander Fleming in 1928? Penicillin. Correct. Ollie, look at your screen. Which Oscar-winning film is this? Um... <sighs> Pass. It's Moonlight. Hugh. In sport, the National Stadium in Beijing that was a venue for the 2008 Olympic and Paralympic Games is nicknamed the Bird's what? Nest. Correct. Kate, in theatre, Thomas Jefferson and George Washington are characters in which Tony Award-winning musical by Lin-Manuel Miranda? Hamilton. Correct. Bank. Ollie, in books, the 2021 novel Endgame is an instalment in the Mallory Blackman series titled Noughts and What? Crosses. Correct. Bank. Thank you. In pop music in 2021, which festive song by Wham eventually became a UK number one single more than 36 years after it first charted? Last Christmas. Correct. Kate, in historical figures, which nurse, who was given the Order of Merit in 1907, is known as the Lady with the Lamp? Florence Nightingale. Correct. 
Ollie. In TV, the 2020 drama series based on a Sally Rooney novel that has the main characters called Marianne and Connell is titled Normal What? People. Correct. Bank. Hugh. In typing, which of these words can be written using just the top row of letters of a standard keyboard? Smile or pout? Pout. Correct. Kate. In food, which confection is toasted and sandwiched between biscuits with chocolate to make the campfire snack called a s'more? Marshmallow. Correct. Bank. Ollie, in clothing, what D is a type of coat fastened with toggles that takes its name from a dense woolen fabric originally made Bank. in Belgium? Bank. Correct. Bank. Time's up. Uh, Ollie, your answer was correct. And Hugh, I can confirm that your bank was good. Which means that you won £2,250 in that round. Yes. Yes. Uh, so far, you've won £6,000 out of a possible £30,000. In the next round, not only does the money go up to a possible £10,000, but you get the chance to double what you bank, which means there's £20,000 up for grabs. So think very carefully about this next decision. Who thinks Nat King Cole is what you say when it isn't King Cole? Who thinks Band-Aid is what you put on a cut? One of you is about to leave with nothing. It's time to vote off the weakest link. With all four answers correct, Kate is the gift that keeps on giving and is the strongest link again. Ollie's the weakest, but can he survive the final vote? Voting's over. It's time to reveal who you think is the weakest link. Ollie. Hugh. Kate. <laughs> <laughs> this is proper stuff, isn't it, huh? Yeah. This is it exciting. Like, we were all having fun, weren't we, at the beginning? And, you know, I hope you're still having fun now. But in terms of Christmas drama, everyone's on the edge of their seats with this. This is a proper battle of the titans. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Oh. yeah. 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 You got a chain of nine, so you could have banked the full amount of money. Kate, why did you vote for Hugh? Because I've not voted for him before, so I just thought it might be his turn. Kate. <laughs> That's a bit of a rock. You really want to know the I, truth. I just, don't I you? just thought a whole part of your whole shtick was to be honest <laughs> and truthful, isn't it? Because I think now I'm starting to vote for who I want to face in the final. I see. Wow. So you've gone from a very innocent-sounding answer to a pretty <laughs> devious one. Hugh, why did you vote for Ollie? It's so hard. I love him like a brother. He is my main wine man. But Kate has been storming it, and I just felt I could not, in good conscience, vote for Kate uh, at this point. I couldn't vote her off. Whereas Kate... <laughs> <laughs> Didn't had no really qualms at all. I mean, not she's, a she's reciprocal not, thing. She's not got the same level of standards and morals and values that you do. Possibly not. Yeah, OK. Ollie. Yeah, I couldn't pick between them. Yeah, I just... I think Hugh's last bank was what swung it in his favour. Bank, bank, bank. You were very quick on the duffel, weren't you? I really wanted to get the money. I could see the yeah. countdown it, going. You shouted at me like Sorry. it was a heckle. I'm no, really... I like it. It's passionate. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? But I just... Uh, it was lovely. It reminded me of some early gigs. Um, OK. <laughs> so, obviously, as you can see, you've each received the same number of votes. So it's down to the strongest link from last round to decide who goes. And that is you, Kate. Oh, no! So, Kate... Can I change my mind? You can stick with Hugh... Oh, or no! Or you can change your mind and go for Ollie. It's uh, completely up to you. So, what are you deciding? I'm going to stick with what I said and I'm going to say goodbye to gorgeous Hugh. Wow! Hugh, with one vote, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Got to go and get those sprouts on, guys. Who's the best costume on the show? Me? Obviously. I mean, you've got Biggins as a pantomime dame, but, you know, we've seen that before. Sprout Man, original, come on. Round seven. So far, you have won £6,000. The time you have is just 90 seconds. But whatever you win will be doubled, meaning the round is worth a possible £20,000. We will start with the strongest link from the last round. That's you, Kate. Let's play the weakest link. Start the clock. 
Kate, in chemical elements, which noble gas with the symbol NE is used in electric tube lighting, particularly in luminous advertising signs? Uh, neon. Correct. Ollie, in sports stars at the 2016 Olympic Games, Sam Quet was part of the team that won gold in which sport? Hurling. Incorrect, it's hockey. Kate, in landscaping, a boundary wall that is set in a ditch to avoid interrupting the view is called a what? Ha-ha or tee-hee? Ha-ha. <laughs> Correct. Thank you. Ollie, the West End musical about a Sheffield schoolboy that features the drag queen character Trey Sophistique is titled Everybody's Talking About Who? Oh, that's on the tip of my tongue. Pass. Sorry. Jamie. Yes. Kate, in maths, what is 42 divided by 6? No. Sorry, pass. Seven. Ollie, in World Heritage Sites, which mausoleum in Agra in India that is made with white marble was commissioned by a Mughal emperor in memory of his wife? Taj Mahal. Correct. Bank. Kate, in art, what L precedes Cavalier in the English title of a 1624 oil painting by the Dutch master Franz Hal? Laughing. Correct. Ollie, the diarist born in London in 1633 who regularly ended his daily entries with the phrase, and so to bed, was Samuel who? Peeps. Correct. Kate, in nature, what H, that means a solitary person, goes before crab in the name Hermit. of a station that uses the empty shells of other creatures Bank. for shelter? Correct. Ollie, in maritime history, in 1912, which luck Time's up. Ollie, your bank was good. You won £1,500. We'll double that and add it to your previous winnings, meaning a total prize pot of £9,000. But only one of you can take that money away for your chosen charity tonight. It's time to go head to head. In this round, I'll ask alternate questions. It's best of five, and whoever answers the most questions correctly wins. It's as simple as that. If there's a tie after five questions each, we'll go to sudden death until we have a winner. Kate, as the strongest link in the last round, you have the choice of who goes first. Ollie can go first. So, for the final time tonight, let's play The Weakest Link. Ollie. In the UK charts, which pop group had three consecutive Christmas number ones in the 1990s with the singles To Become One, Too Much and Goodbye? Take that. The correct answer is the Spice Girls. <sighs> Kate. In Celebrities, what first name is shared by the Canadian-born actors with the surnames Reynolds and Gosling, who star in the films Deadpool and La La Land, respectively? Ryan. The correct answer is Ryan. Ollie. Though spelt differently, what first name was used by both a silent-era film star known by the surname Valentino and a Soviet-born ballet dancer whose last name was Nureyev? Igor? The correct answer is Rudolph. Rudolph. Of course it is. Kate. In children's literature, what is the title of the book written and illustrated by Chris Van Alsberg about a boy who boards a train to the Arctic to see Santa Claus? The Polar Express. The correct answer is The Polar Express. Ollie. In spelling, the three US states that have names beginning and ending with the letter A are Alabama, Alaska, and which other? Um, mind wipe. Um, I'm so sorry, I don't know. The correct answer is Arizona. Kate, if you get this next question correct, you win. Kate. In mythology, what is the five-letter name of the Roman god of love who is the son of Venus and is often depicted as a child with wings? Cupid. The correct answer... ..is Cupid. <laughs> what the...? <laughs> Congratulations, Kate!
You are tonight's strongest link and you win £9,000 for charity. What a game. Amazing. <laughs> uh, which charity is your money going to? I'm playing for Baby Basics UK, which is a grassroots charity helping parents with essential items. Well, that is fantastic. Ollie? Yeah. You I... leave with nothing. OK. That's all from tonight's show. I'm Ramesh Ranganathan. And whatever you do, don't be the weakest link this Christmas. Goodbye. In the final, I lost uh, focus entirely. So I think once you start to flap under the studio lights, you, you're really like um, you're Christmas wrapping with no gift inside. And that's how I felt. I am absolutely over the moon, filled with Christmas spirit. It's like a Christmas present in itself, winning the weakest link.